lovely way this sports goes throughout the world as we form this circle that represents the globe for it to bring joy, happiness, family, brotherhood, and also wealth. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Yeshua Mashiach Shalom. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we had at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the past. Brothers fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bonds were staying in air gave proof through the night that our flag still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet away or the land of the free and the home of the brave Cannonball 360 match will be beginning shortly at Nova Southeastern University in Davie. I'm Dave Lamont. We welcome you to this unique sport, an opportunity to introduce you to something you probably have not seen before, but it is something we believe that you will not easily forget. A unique indoor sport with its own set of rules and its own terminology that we will be introducing to you throughout the broadcast. There are four 13-minute rounds and a 52-minute game, and the clock will only stop when the referee tells it to stop. In other words, if we have points, we play on. The only time the clock will stop is if they, there is an injury. In the Hannibal 360 Arena is over 157 feet long, 70 feet wide, and the official Hannibal, you see the weight on that, inflated, inflated to 6 PSI, weighs a little over 13 ounces. The Grund Net, that is 48 inches tall with a 12-foot diameter. That is where the Grund Meter, what you might also know as a goalkeeper, but in Hannibal 360, it is a Grund Meter, is inside there. And you have six additional players. The game is unique in that you cannot advance the ball by passing it in the air. Every pass must be a bounce pass. You can only possess the ball for five seconds, and you can only take four steps. Participants, this unique sport where the rules are different, the terminology is different. That gentleman right there, for example, suited up with that little vest is the grunt meter. It is not a fun position to play sometimes. It is essentially the goalkeeper of the sport. And he's going to need that helmet. That the grunt meter is under constant attack. This can be a very high scoring sport. Seven players on a side including the Grun Meter, who is in there. And he cannot escape unless there's a timeout. 48 inches tall, 12 feet diameter, and 24 feet from the boundary line. And all of it, it the sh shots can come from anywhere. That pink line there, no offensive player, or otherwise known as an advancer, can land on that line or go in that line. He, that person cannot shoot from there must be outside. The green line is called the fill-on circle, and that is used for what is known as a fill-on shot, and that shot is awarded as a result of a foul. And again, the player taking the fill-on shot can go anywhere in that circle, outside the circle, not in it, but anywhere outside of it. That's the uniqueness of this sport, is that everything's active. Every inch is 
playing field. There's no rest areas other than out of bounds in case the ball happens to go there. So let's take a look at the highlights from that opening round. And very early, the Grund meter was tested and a great save by Portillo. Here's the first Grund we have. This is Chrisnel Francois gets way up high. And the next run looked like it was going to be taken from the center. Instead, Alvarez winds up and fires another one-pointer. And that gave the Palm Beach Avar a 2-0 lead. And finally, with the grunt meter seemingly a little bit back in the grunt net, you get the big one-pointer there. And then look at this save. A beautiful save by Funes to keep it at 2-1. to one. Avar, and now an interception and a chance to break out. Shot is blocked. One more time, and a Grund! It went right back to Juarez. He got the rebound and grunded. And it's a one-pointer, Paul Beach regains the lead. On and let's go back to the highlights of this Hannet Ball 360 debut match. You see, this is a one-point Grund, and that is a man who has several of them today, Chris Nel Francois for Palm Beach. He played extremely well. Look at Kiejas, is he gonna shoot? No, he's gonna pass. And this grunt coming on a ripper from Alvarez, and it became 2-0 Palm Beach. However, Florida would counter a beautiful one-point grunt launched that time by Winchell Lewis, who would end up getting the game winner. And there you see the 360 concept of Hannibal. That one tied the score at two in the second round. We stay in the second round, and Florida takes their first lead right there as Portillo maybe not cutting down the angle as much and it became 3-2. Then Francois, right before the half. Man, he has hops. And a strong right arm to prove it, to back it up. And we are 3-3. Off the rebound. Palm Beach took the lead on Juarez, taking full advantage of that rebound. And it was 4-3. A steal, a mistake, and you pay for it. 5-3 on that one-point grunge from Pierre. And remember, you can get four steps here, and that is a grunge. And that, in fact, was the first of our rim grunts. Here's a rim grunt for you. When the ball beats the grunt meter and... Catches a piece of the top of the grunt net. It is worth three, and there would be three in the third round, and that's what gave Florida a t advantage as they blew past Palm Beach with these important three-pointers. Then a fill-on. That's a two-pointer. We'd had three missed earlier. That is a foul shot, and it is worth two. Again, boy, I love this shot there. You get the height of Francois as Palm Beach tried to make the comeback, but they couldn't get multiple pointers. They kept getting single pointers, but they started to add up. And Francois there with another one-point grund. Alvarez. That's for one. And that, nearly a rim grunt for Francois. We end up in sudden death at 13, and that game winner comes right at you. In overtime, on the fill-on by Witchell Lewis, the Hennet Ball 360 debut is won in sudden death. Bar. Congratulations to all of the players and coaches who participated in this debut today. Thank you very much to our crew. I'm Dave Lamont saying so long from Nova Southeastern University and Rick Case Arena.